The psychological lens is another way of analyzing the self. If you remember from modernism, Sigmund Freud invented psychoanalysis, which allows us to look at the unconscious and what is stored there. The main focus of this psychological lens is looking at how identities or identifiers in our environment have shaped how we perceive ourselves. This could be people, emotions, or any other social factors that we've internalized. From the intro to literary theory with John Kohler, he states that, Psychoanalysis is a mode of interpretation and as a theory about language, identity, and the subject to understand what's really going on. This suggests that the self is grounded in an unconscious, where forbidden desires, traumas, and unacceptable emotions were stored. Kind of like the example that I'm playing in the back. If you've seen Avatar The Last Airbender, when Aang is trying to unlock his chakras, he has a lot of trauma, guilt, and what is considered unacceptable emotions for an avatar to have. And he has to face those things, looking at what is the unconscious in order to unlock his abilities as a fully realized avatar. So the psychological lens allows us to look at texts or stories as expressions of personality, state of mind, feelings, and desires of the author or a character within a text. In that same regard, when we analyze an event in our own life with this lens, we consider how the event shaped our inner psyche, our inner thoughts, feelings, dreams, and desires, or how our psychological state at that time affected our experience. So when we analyze a character through the psychological lens, we can ask questions like, what is the author or character thinking or feeling? How are the author or character's inner thoughts, feelings, desires affected by events of the text? Or how are events of the text affected by the author's thoughts, feelings, and desires? And what can we tell about the author or character's personality or their mental and emotional state? So over on Google Classroom after finishing the reading, make sure to respond to the following questions. What is psychoanalysis? What does the formation of identity have to do with the way one perceives themselves? I hope that clarify the psychological lens and draw some connections to psychoanalysis. If you haven't already, make sure to complete the reading and then respond to the question assignment on Google Classroom. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.